The Hare and the Hedgehog One Sunday morning, the hedgehog was standing at his door with his arms folded, enjoying the morning breeze and slowly humming a little song to himself. It was harvest time and the buckwheat was in full bloom. The sun was shining brightly. The wind was blowing warmly over the field. The larks were singing and the people in their Sunday clothes were all going to church. Suddenly the hedgehog thought while his wife was busy with the children, he might as well take a walk into the field and see how his turnips were getting on. Yum, yum, turnips were a favorite in the family. So the hedgehog shut the house door behind him and took the path to the field. He had not gone very far and was just turning around the rose bush which stood outside the field when he saw a hare. The hare was coming down for the very same errand, to see his cabbages. Good morning, said the friendly hedgehog to the hare. But the haughty hare replied rudely, What are you doing here in the field so early in the morning? I am taking a walk, said the hedgehog. A walk, said the hare with a smirk. It seems to me that you might use your legs for a better purpose. This answer made the hedgehog very angry, for he could bear anything but a remark on his legs, just because they were crooked by nature. So the hedgehog said to the hare, You imagine that you can do more with your legs than I can with mine? I can win a race with you. That is ridiculous, but I am willing, said the hare. All right, I will go home, have a little breakfast, and be back in this place in half an hour, said the hedgehog. On the way, the hedgehog said to himself, I will think of a plan to get the better of the hare. He is a very silly fellow and he shall pay for what he said. When the hedgehog reached home, he said to his wife, Dress up quickly and come to the field with me. What's going on? asked his wife. I am to run a race with the hare and you must help me, said the hedgehog. Good heavens, husband, the wife cried. Are you in the right mind? Have you completely lost your wits? What can make you want to run a race with a hare? Don't discuss now, woman, said the hedgehog. Be off with you. Dress up quickly and come with me. What could the hedgehog's wife do? She was forced to obey him whether she liked it or not. And the two set out together. On the way, the hedgehog said to his wife, Now, Pay attention to what I am going to say. The long field which has troughs will be our race course. The hare will run through one trough and arrive at the lower end of the field. You must stay there and when you see him, cry out, I am already here. When they reached the field, the hedgehog showed his wife her place and walked up to the top of the field where the hare was waiting. Shall we start? asked the hare. Certainly, said the hedgehog. The hare counted. One, two, three, and went off like a whirlwind down the field through one trough. The hedgehog, however, ran only about three paces and then quietly hid down in the other trough. When the hare arrived at full speed at the lower end of the field, the hedgehog's wife cried, I am already here. The hare was shocked. He thought it was no other than the hedgehog himself who was calling out, for the hedgehog's wife looked just like her husband. The hare, however, thought that there was something fishy and said, Let us run the race again. This time the race was in the opposite direction. And once more the hare went off like the wind in a storm, as though he seemed to fly. The hedgehog's wife quietly stayed in her place, while the hedgehog, waited at the top of the field. When the hare reached there, the hedgehog himself cried out, I am already here. The hare was beside himself with anger and yelled, We must have it again. All right, answered the hedgehog. For my part, we will run as often as you choose. So the hare ran 73 more times, and the hedgehog always seemed to win. Every time the hare reached either the top or the bottom of the field. Either the hedgehog or his wife said, I am already here. 
at the seventy-fourth time the hare could no longer reach the end and dropped to the ground in the middle of the field. The hedgehog and his wife went home in great delight. The moral of the story is that no one, however great he may be, should make fun of anybody.